What's up, Faithful Fam? In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I transform my balcony from this plain empty space into my peaceful safe haven. So first order of business, I like to take a lot of pictures. So I wanted to create um, something that was had good backdrops from my photo ops. And I decided to create a grass wall. Now, what I'm showing you here is just how I connected these grass walls. I purchased most of the products used in this video on Amazon. I'll be sure to link everything in the description box down below. So I'm just showing you guys how I connected these grass wall. They come as little panels and they snap together. And then it has um, these little like ties, almost like the sandwich bag ties. Um, and you do that and you pull it together and it snaps at the very end. And that's just to keep it secure on the ends. So it snaps together, together in the middle and then you tie it together at the end. And then you just basically continue to do that all across the board. Um, of course, you go, you're going to need to measure your space to figure out how many boxes you need to order. But once you do that, everything else is pretty self-explanatory. And then to get it to hang up, I use these concrete nails because I wasn't really sure on how I was going to get this to hang onto the wall since I did have a concrete wall and these worked out just fine. So after I created the grass wall, I decided I wanted to add um, a couple of flowers to the backdrop. And then I just got some flowers from the 99 cent store, pulled off the top of um, the flower head and then attached it with clear fishnet. And I just kind of looped it through the grass wall. As you guys saw, there were little like boxes um, before I hung it up. So there are little holes in the back and you could just tie it in and tie a little knot. And then this is basically what it turned out looking like the good vibe sign again i ordered from amazon and as i mentioned everything is going to be linked in the description box down below now the next topic at hand was for me to tackle the floors so the floors here are standard they're like concrete floors so i decided i wanted to turn it into like some wood floors and i got these panels and as i mentioned this will be in the description box and these are from home depot and they're so easy to use. You just simply snap them together. You can see me snapping them together. And again, like I mentioned for the wall, you will have to measure your space just so you know how many boxes you'll need to order. But it was really quick for me to install this. This didn't take me any more than probably like, I'm gonna say 30 to 40 minutes to complete the entire floor. It's really simple, anybody could do it. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. So I'm just going to let you see the final results once I was finished on what it looked like. And now we have floors. <laughs> Okay, so the next thing I did was I got some rocks from Dollar Tree and I got this idea from another video I saw on YouTube and they were only a dollar and I got a couple of bags and I sprinkled them along the crevices of the panels, the wood panels, because they were too small for a panel to fit, but then it also created this empty space. So it was functional because it gave it more of a decorative look without having those empty spaces that the where the panels couldn't fit okay so next I decided I wanted to have a fire pit on my balcony as you guys as I mentioned I wanted to create like a whole vibe oh by the way I should mention that I did this um, last year during quarantine we were stuck at home so I wanted to make sure that my house I always believe your house should be your haven anyway but especially since I was spending 24 hours there every day of the week I wanted to make sure that it was definitely something where I felt comfortable and didn't feel like so trapped at home if you understand what I mean so this particular fire pit came with those black coals initially and that's I guess just to help the fire catch when you light it because it is gas but I decided I wanted to add a little bling bling to it and I got these ice crystals I don't really remember what it's called 
But okay, again, as I already told y'all, it's going to be in the description box down below. And I got them and I'm just going to, right here, I'm just sprinkling it all across the fire pit because this is like something that I usually see like when I go to hotels or when I go to, um just like nice areas with the outdoors and they have the fire pits it usually has these nice little gems and it's hard to see on camera but it because it's glass it's oh that's what it is it's glass so because it's glass it kind of radiates off of the sun so when the sun shines it radiates through and it gives it like a sparkle you might be able to see some through the camera but you could really see it more in real life and then i got that little um glass protector to go around um just really for decoration and i guess so nobody could burn themselves or whatever <laughs> and this is basically what this ended up looking like once i was done and I did go back and I went and I purchased this separate um, gas tank holder just so it wouldn't be like a big old gas tank just sitting there on the side in the corner. And it's nice and decorative and it goes along perfectly with the fire pit. Okay, so I wanted to create some seating arrangements for my balcony so that when I go outside, um, I can have some place to sit. And I wanted a bench, but I don't know if you guys have noticed, if you ever looked for a bench, benches are really expensive. For what reason? I have no idea. So you guys already know your girl is cheap, so I decided I was going to make my own. So I went to Home Depot and I got these planks. I don't recall the size of the planks. If I do remember, I will put it in the description box down below. But I end up getting two pieces of planks and then two pieces of big planks. And then I got sm four small pieces of planks for each end. Um, actually, I do think I have the dimensions for that. I will make sure I put that in the description box down below. And then I put them together, I nailed them together and created a square. And then to turn it white, I used some white spray paint and I spray painted it white um, because I just wanted to add like a, um, a little bit of color to it. And then I got a thin piece of um, wood to put on the sides. And you're going to see very shortly how I use that. And then that wood is also spray painted white as well to match with the legs. And right here you're just seeing how I set it up. And then I use these clips to attach the white planks and the white uh, the legs of the bench to the bottom plank, which basically will end up being the seating area of the bench. And then I just basically took my drill and I drilled that in. Most of it was pretty easy as far as like the thin plank that went along the front, but the legs for the bench. Oh my gosh, that was that was very hard to drill. And it's really, I later found out, it really had to do with the fact that my drill is kind of weak and it wasn't strong enough to get through all of those thick pieces of wood. So I would suggest if you're going to do this, take on this project that you use a very reliable drill. And other than that, you know, you could just kind of figure it out. You just watch along um, and you drill two on each side of the leg just to make sure it's sturdy. So that's two on one end, two on the other end, and then repeat that on the other side. Now, if I didn't have issues with my drill, this bench would have been so quick to make. And... <laughs> I am very happy with how it turned out, guys. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. It saved me a whole lot of money because a bench that looked like this would have cost me a few hundred dollars. And I think with all the materials, it must have cost me no more than probably like 50 or $60, um, if even. And then I went and I got some pads 
some bench pads from Target and those are what I use along the bottom and then I got some pillows I got those pillows I believe they were from Wayfair I wanted something bright and sunny looking you know something to cheer me up if I ever was feeling down because I think color is very important when it comes to mood and this is basically how my bench area ended up looking and then i got a palm tree from home depot because i wanted to give like that summer tropical vibe and this is the final look of what that looks like so i got this little I don't know what this is called i guess a plant ladder it's a plant holder but it's in like the shape of a ladder and i just basically put it together it was fairly simple it came with three little shelves you just screwed it in on both sides a little quick diy but it wasn't anything too complex it didn't take me too long to put it together probably about 20 minutes uh, like i mentioned it has three shelves you screw it in on both sides and on each shelf you could use it to put something uh, most likely pot some sense of pottery but i will tell you guys that i do not have a green thumb okay um, some of the plants you see in this photo did not make it till today all right p um so so and you will see like there's a little plant on the bottom that plant ended up being a little bit too tall to put on that bottom shelf and those two other plants that i have on the middle and the top shelf i did get those from ross those are fake pottery and they're just really for there for decorative purposes i thought it had like cute unique qualities to it so it fits nicely in that corner and over on the right i did purchase another plant i got that one from home depot and i'm happy to say that that plant is thriving to today so yay me <laughs> and now a quick before and after for you guys just a reminder of what it looked like when i started and what it looks like now and stay tuned because i'm gonna let you guys see what the balcony looks like at night and when i tell you guys it's a vibe <laughs> It's a vibe, okay? <laughs> and that little white box sitting under my bench is an LED light box that I got. And I use it whenever I come out on the balcony as a little tabletop to put like my wine or my glasses on it. Now, vibe out with me. <laughs> So guys, if you know anybody who would enjoy this video or find this video helpful, be sure and share it with your friends and your family. And if you found it helpful, don't forget to like it and hit that subscribe button.